Hello everyone and welcome to the Cairngorms in Scotland, um, in the centre of Scotland. Today we're here to take a different train ride in the sense that we're on the funicular. Now many of you may know that the Aviemore uh, Cairngorms uh, ski resort has a funicular railway to take skiers up to the top of the mountains. But it's also been out of commission for about two or three years. It's been repaired, it's back in service, so anyway let's just jump right in, let's get on it and get to the top and have lunch at the highest restaurant in the UK. So anyway, without further ado, let's go. Originally built in 2002, the Cairngorm Funicular Railway is the UK's highest railway and mainly carries skiers to the high slopes in the Cairngorm Ski Resort. The railway though has been shut for four years due to structural issues on the line. But after years of work and investment on the line, Scotland's mountain railway is back open. Skiing season's just wrapping up now. It's March or it's start of April. So skiing season's wrapping up. So it is a bit quieter than it usually is um, peak skiing season. But anyway, I'm just going to go get our ticket now. Outside the base station there is a nice map of the ski resort with all of its slopes. Here I get the ticket from the director. Yeah, can I, can I have uh, two, please? Yeah, please. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. Yeah, buddy. Uh, just give it just to you. Just on that uh, right. bit there. There you go. There you go. Thank you. you. Cheers, buddy. On this, when I was a young kid, but I've been on it since. Um, yeah, doesn't change much. Starting from base station, the line takes us up through the Cairngorm Ski Resort and some breathtaking scenery. You can still see evidence of all the work that has been carried out, and you will spot on the tracks the very obvious reinforcement work that has been carried out to bring this line back into operation. The line itself is just shy of 2 miles in length, but climbs a total of 462 metres and ends at a height of 1097 metres. The line does actually have three stations or stops, base station, middle station and ptarmigan. Stopping at middle station you can jump on and jump off here at your pleasure for some of the ski slopes. The stop is also just short of the crossover section of the track. After the crossover section, the track and the train begin its steep climb towards Ptarmigan. As you can see, the heavy snow cover is melting as we go into April. Arriving into Ptarmigan, the train travels through a tunnel in the side of the mountain, measuring about 250 metres in length. Uh, Oh, 
the funicular, um, all people going off for skiing now. Um, but we're gonna get some lunch, uh, get a coffee as well. You know me, I like my coffee, but let's go get a coffee. Yeah. In the highest restaurant in the UK. Mm, looks like they're still serving breakfast. So uh, yeah, like get some breakfast. As mentioned, this is officially the highest restaurant in the UK. In the end, I decided on grabbing an egg and sausage roll with, of course, a coffee. The view is not half bad. Look at that for a minute. For breakfast and a view like that. Can't beat it. Excuse me? Is it this way to get outside? Yeah. Oh, right, okay. I wasn't sure if that was like the staff door or something. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like today the weather is a bit unpredictable. Um, yeah, the clouds are just going uh, right to left. So we're getting glimpses down there and then it's disappearing again. But yeah, skiers going down that way. Gorgeous view, absolutely gorgeous. Hopefully the weather clears, but later today it's not meant to be great, so. That's why I got down here early. I love this bit of Scotland, honestly, it's like my favourite bit of Scotland. So glad the funicular is back. So glad they've fixed it and got it back up and running. Been years since I've been up here. Snow's just melting, as you can see, but uh, yeah, people getting in and flying. Final bit of skiing. Yeah, I gotta go inside. It looks like the weather's turning a bit. Anyway, I just thought I'd come back out. I was having my coffee there, but the weather has just cleared and it is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at this. I mean, can you beat views like that? I mean, you can see all the way down to Granton on Spey over there. Have more there. Just absolutely gorgeous. I do love it up here and I, I just. To me, Aviemore is one of the best places, if not the best places in Scotland. I don't mean Aviemore, I mean the Cairngorms, that is. I always say Aviemore because Aviemore is the, <laughs> the biggest town in the Cairngorms, but yeah, absolutely gorgeous. I mean, just look at that. Absolutely epic. Yeah, if you, anybody is in this area, or even if you're not skiing, I would highly recommend you get on the funicular. Um, it's so good, it's back in operation, it really is. You just cannot beat it. I mean, it's the only one in the UK from what I understand, but uh, yeah. It's so worth it, it's only 20 quid return, up and down. I mean, there are worse ways you can spend 20 pounds. Um, for a view like that, I mean, that is just... Oh, I love it. I love it. If you can't tell, I love it. You can see the beach from here. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go back in in a minute and uh, finish finish my coffee, finish, finish my roll as well. <laughs> anyway, it's getting a bit windy. It's chilly out here. Uh, I'm not sure what temperature is. I think it's probably about zero. Um, down there it's about six degrees but up here it's still still pretty cold but anyway let's go back inside <laughs> just amazing views really are
a lot more snow out this side. Anyway, let's go back down the finicular now. There's one waiting there. As you can see on the platform at Tarmigan, there's a lot of information to read about the funicular railway itself. Mm -hmm. Okay, just on board now. Just waiting to go down again. Um, yeah, not sure how many people will be coming down. I think it mainly people coming up the way to do some skiing at the moment. But uh, yeah, so we just had some. Uh, lunch, some coffee, and yeah, now we're going down. For the descent, as the weather is noticeably better, I'll let you enjoy the views. Arriving back into base station, you get a great view of the large gears at work making these trains move up and down this mountainside. So there we have it, the funicular railway in the Cairngorm mountain range. But yeah, um, the funicular, it's great that it's back. Um, yeah, absolutely amazing that it's parking. Wow, it's really quiet here. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of cars and everything. I think there's a lot of skiers up. But yeah, it's really quiet here. But anyway, guys, tell me what you think of the funicular. It was a really good experience. I mean, for 20 quid, you can't really complain. Um, but yeah, let me know what you thought. And if you didn't enjoy this video, please consider subscribing. It helps out the channel a lot. And as always, people, we will see you all in the next one.